Hi guys, James at Rampant Lion Reviews for you again today with another beer review. For this one we are going to head to southern France to a little village called Somhier which is just a little bit to the northeast of Montpellier. A very beautiful place apparently but I've never been. But we're going to visit Brasserie de Garrigue from Somhier and have a taste of their beer called Livernel which is their Christmas seasonal beer. I forgot I had this one but the style of this beer is described as being a beer de hiver which is quite a common French Christmas beer so you usually apparently get some big caramel malts in this guy, a good bit of alcohol warmth and some nice fruity flavours as well. So I'm looking, for a, I'm looking forward to a very interesting beer, we'll find out more about it in the tasting. But as always with my reviews I'll take you through a very short history of the company, just a minute or two. But if you want to get straight to the tasting just fast forward, the brewery website's in the description for you below along with a link to my other reviews that hopefully I can do from these guys in the future. And just to point out, the brewery website is available in both French and a translated version of English. So anyway, to tell you about Brasserie de Garrigue, the story of this brewery goes back to 2005 and this was when two good friends found themselves unemployed at the same time unfortunately. But they'd both been keen home brewers prior to this so they decided that they would make their hobby their new profession and they brewed their original beers at Brasserie du Sornin before they actually moved to their own site in October 2007 and they are keen to point out that while they were brewing at Brasserie du Sornin all their recipes were actually their own that they had developed while being home brewers. But later in 2010 a third brewer joined the company and so now the team at Brasserie de Garigue consists of Emmanuel Pierre Auguste eh, Guanel Samotay, which is a kind of Polish name apologies if the pronunciation there is wrong and also Eric Varey. So the brewery is located in an industrial estate in Somier and they're actually very regularly expanding their capacity because the demand for their beers are, is growing very fast. They're usually only available in the southern France region but I actually got this one at La Cava Boulet in Paris. But currently they're equipped for a few small batch brews, but they brew many of their more regular beers in 800 litre batches. So a very cool brewery that they do have a kind of regular range, but also a few sort of very small pilot releases if you like. They did actually release one very recently that was a barley wine ale, supposed to be very good, and hopefully, like I say, I can taste a few more of these beers at some point in the fairly near future. So anyway, just to list a few of the other beers you can get from Bra Brasserie de Garrigue. Um, they have La Belle en Gougette, which is an English pale ale, Nuit de Gougette, which is a brown ale, Le Ivernel, which is this guy here. A lot of people on Rate Beer and things describe this as a Belgian strong ale. Um, there's Frappandine, which is a, an IPA, Saison de Amour, which is an amber ale, Le Ribouling, uh, I believe is the correct way to pronounce that. That's a Belgian wit, uh, Beer du Coney, uh, which is a fruit beer, uh, Cherrois, which is a French amber, and Triple Hot, which is a spice beer. Apologies if any of the pronunciations there are wrong, it's quite hard to kind of read these beers out when you're sort of doing a beer review and stuff, so apologies for my French pronunciation there. I'm told I'm not the worst at it though. Um, but anyway, let's get on to the tasting of this beer itself. To tell you a little bit about the stats of this beer, apparently this guy is 8.5% and I've seen some people describe it as an Imperial Saison. The new version of this guy is 12.2%, but formerly it was um it was 8.5% so i have the older version of it here i got this guy when i was in paris in i think about april 2014 so this i've had this bottle for a little while about a year now um and it now i believe is 11 or 12 percent the abv of this guy it is the winter seasonal beer it's described by some by rate beer and beer advocate as being a sort of belgian strong ale if you like but the website does describe it as being an imperial saison but we'll soon find out from the tasting um, and apparently this is a more robust version of their saison de armure uh, and the newer version like i said is 12.2 percent but without further further ado, let's get this guy open and we'll get on with the tasting. I'll just let you have a little click, quick look at the artwork on this one there. As you can see, it does tell you on the website in French, you can see if you do check that out for yourself, that the beer is meant to be enjoyed in front of a roaring fire. I believe it tells you a little bit about the uh, the process and things and how and what kind of fermentation and stuff they use with it on the website too so as I say check that out but you can see it looks like Santa Claus actually enjoying a beer by the fire and um, with his kind of blonde babe if you like a blonde Mrs Claus so it looks quite good and it's meant to be enjoyed in front of a roaring fire apparently just a plain bottle cap on this guy but yeah let's get it open I should also point out that Brasserie de Galligue also like to point out that their beers are all unfiltered and unpasteurized so 
Um, very interesting beers, I'm sure. So as you can see, a nice smoky opening as we open this up. You get a good waft of uh, yeast as you bring it out the bottle. And that's without even paying too much attention to the aroma. Yeah, so as you can see, it's poured a very nice sort of uh, chestnutty colour, I would say. So let me just bring up the, the light there and you can have a good look at it. If I hold it up to, the, if I bring it under the light for you, it looks a really nice kind of chestnutty, dark brown colour. It's got a two finger, um, frothy, kind of creamy coloured head. I would say it's a bit off white, not pure white, but I think a, I think a kind of creamy, slightly beige colour is the best way to describe this. If I put my fingers behind it, you can see it's not transparent at all, but a nice sort of um, chestnutty colour actually. I think chestnut is a good way to describe that. If I hold it up to the light you've got a sort of ruby tinge to it but it's a nice kind of reddish chestnut colour. There's a good bit of sediment just floating around in the bottom of the uh, of the glass there but you could see that when it was in the bottle. The carbonation on this one really isn't that visible. You can see one or two little bubbles just going up towards the bottom of the head but otherwise it's pretty pretty invisible actually but there's a nice head on top of it so it will be there. So anyway, to have a little look at the aroma on this guy, you've got a nice big kind of sweet malt on this one. The first thing you'll notice is the sort of fruity aspects of the beer coming out of the coming out of the aroma. You can get just some nice sort of um, stony fruits on there. You're getting some nice figs, a little bit of raisins, maybe some plums as well. They're actually quite sharp, but maybe just a little bit of a kind of candied fruit there. But there is a big dark roasted caramel element coming out of this one some nice um, roasted brown sugars in there but some nice yeasty aromas and a kind of sweet bread in the malt base too as you sugar it up you start to get more of the bready malt aromas coming out with this guy but it's very it's a very nice smell and beer very strong dark roasted caramel element to it but it smells it smells beautiful as I always say with my beers just take a little bit of time to smell this beer if you do happen to taste it because it's got a really nice kind of interesting yeasty aroma there's a little bit of booze you can pick out of it as well but anyway without further ado a really nice kind of fruity fruity smell and beer this with a nice big yeasty and bready malt base so without further ado let's actually get on and taste this so this is the Leverne Ale the Christmas seasonal beer from ba Brasserie de Gargigua Slange Now that is really nice. First impression I have of it is it is very, very smooth. And one of the things that I always notice with French beer is just the nice wet mouthfeel that it has. I've said that in quite a few of my videos. The French beer is always very full of flavour, but it has this nice wet, light mouthfeel. It's beautifully done. So in terms of the flavour with this beer, you've got a nice dark caramel malt there that kind of blankets the tongue. You get a good bit of sweetness right in the middle of the tongue. And just underneath that you get a really nice, slightly sweet breadiness. It's almost like a sweet kind of um, rye bread if you like. There's definitely a little bit of a cereal presence in here and some yeasty flavours too. Yeah, in a way the caramel on this is quite similar to a Belgian Dubel actually. It's a nice sweet, slightly roasted caramel that goes just down the middle of the tongue. A nice sort of, um, almost like pumpernickel bread that you get in America actually. So you get a nice pumpernickel bread, slightly ryeish bread flavour in the middle of the tongue. It's quite a sweet rye actually I should point out, but there's a big yeasty element there that you really can pick up. And there's almost, there's a little bit of spice element to it, almost like a kind of nutmeg if you like. Yeah, there is, I think, a very mild, nutmeggy, slightly spicy flavour coming out of this one. Maybe even a little bit of a kind of nutty feel. The malt, the malt base on it is, um, these flavours are all very kind of mild. The main element to the malt base is the roasted caramel and then the bread that surrounds it. But there's these other very subtle flavours in with the sort of bread feel just in the middle of the tongue.
There's some nice dark fruity flavours in there too as well. On the edge of the tongue, just at the front, you're getting some nice sort of figs. I want to say it's more plums though, it's got a nice kind of sharpness to it. So a, fig, a figgy flavour is a kind of more mild one, and there, there is definitely that presence there, but the fruity elements that are coming out of the beer really are more a kind of um, plumish sort of... Uh, sharp plumish flavour that's coming out of this one. Maybe a little bit of raisin in there too. Yeah, you'll feel that just on the front edge of the tongue. There's a really sharp dark stone fruit flavour there. A nice dark plum and raisin. The nice sharpness in there and a little bit of fig just around the edge of the tongue too. Around the edges near towards the back of the tongue you can pick up some sort of hoppy character. I want to say there's a slightly floral hoppy flavour to this one actually which is quite interesting. You don't normally pick that up in the in the style of beer. But yeah, in terms of the mouthfeel, it's quite full bodied actually but the French beers like I say are always a bit lighter because they've got this very kind of wet mouthfeel but they certainly don't lack in flavour. The carbonation on it is kind of just right, just a little tiny prickle there, but it's quite fine. Um, the beer is more kind of oily, if you like, but as I say, it's a nice wet, oily mouthfeel that it has, and it's a very good characteristic of French beer. It's almost um, a kind of similar um, thickness, if you like, if that's the right way to describe it, to sort of white wine and red wine. It has that same kind of feel to it, but it certainly, for having the lighter mouthfeel it does in comparison to other countries' beers, it certainly does not lack in flavour. There's a nice malty sweetness to it as well. And you've got a nice kind of alcohol warmth in there too that you just feel as the beer goes down into your chest a little bit. As you swallow it, you get this nice alcohol warmth out of it. But in the aftertaste, you do have this quite sharp fruity flavour. So the aftertaste is mainly the sort of nutmeggy and um, slightly spicy flavours coming out. There is that bread character there. The kind of sweetness from the caramel fades a wee bit, but it's a nice nutmeggy sort of almost slightly nutty flavour that that lies in the aftertaste and just the kind of sharp plum fruits around the edge. So I mean overall it's a very very nice beer. It's a kind of style that I've not really encountered before, the beer d'hiver, but um, it's a bit, I have to admit if this is a kind of benchmark for it, it is a very nice beer. There are similarities I would say to a Belgian Dubel, but the malt base is a little bit less strong if you like. The, I always find with the Belgian beers they're very forward on the caramel and the yeasty elements whereas this is a little bit more um, a little bit more laid back if that makes sense. You've got a nice bready and yeasty flavour to it but it's more of a blend rather than being sort of very forthright on the caramel and on the uh, and on the yeast like a Belgian Dubel is. So it's a very interesting style of beer and the real it's a very well balanced one as well. The flavours in this guy blend together very well. So this is a beer that you really want to taste and just enjoy. I can see why um, this beer would be good on a nice cold winter's night and there is a good bit of flavour in there to test your palate with as well. So for me this is a sort of good kind of dessert beer or just a beer that you would really want to taste because the style is quite unusual but it is very nicely done and hopefully um, the other Brasserie de Garrigue beers are very very nice as well and hopefully I can try some of those for you at some point soon but they are a little bit hard to get. But anyway, um, if you do happen to come across this beer I really would recommend you try it because it's very nice and it's a very kind of traditional French style if you like so it's definitely worth trying because the beer is very nice and French beer as I've said in quite a few my reviews is very good but it's just very hard to come across for those of us in the kind of English speaking world but definitely check out Brasserie de Garigua. But anyway I hope you've enjoyed my another French review that I've done for you today let me know in the comments section your own thoughts on this beer if you do happen to have tried it before I thank you for watching my beer reviews and please like subscribe share all the usual YouTube stuff and I do have a couple more French reviews for you to do very soon so I'll catch you later cheers